Hi, today is going to be my October favourites. So as usual, there's a bit of a mix between beauty, style and some random favourites and I'm going to start with the first and most obvious one because I have been talking about this product all month, I've become a little bit obsessed and it's the new YSL Youth Liberator Serum Foundation. This is a new launch for YSL and I wasn't that excited about it when I first saw it but the moment I tried it I knew it was love. I've done a full review of this on my blog with pictures and everything so I'll link that below. It's a slightly higher coverage than most foundations I use. I am wearing it today and it just gives a really flawless finish. But what I love about it is that it gives this amazing glow and it's not dewy at all. It's not like wet or tacky. You don't look shiny, but you look glowy. I can't even explain it. It's nothing like anything else I've tried. It is quite pricey, but seriously, I swear this is so worth it. It's definitely become like one of my top five foundations. Maybe even my favourite, it's definitely my favourite at the moment, that's why it's in this video, but I'm obsessed with it. I apply it using my Real Techniques buffing brush and just buff it into the skin. It's really quick to apply, that's what I really like about it. It doesn't take long to blend in at all. I use B30, which is a perfect colour match for me, and I've worn this every day for the last month. Literally nothing else. I love it. The next beauty favourite is one I think a lot of people are going to mention this month and it's from Essie's new autumn winter collection and it's after school boy blazer and this is a really really dark navy blue. It's almost black but in certain lights you can see that it's blue and I love navy blue um, as I mentioned. I think I talked about this in my last video, yeah my autumn style guide video which you saw last week, I've already spoken about this so you know all about it but I've been wearing this on my nails pretty much every day this month, apart from today, I have one of the other shades from this collection actually, which is, I can't remember what it's called, it's something Essie Cardigan Twin Set maybe, something like that. Um, but other than that, I've been wearing this most days and yeah, I love it. I've already told you why I love it. I don't know why I'm still going on about this. I'm going to throw in one of my random favourites now and it's pretty random. It's the Cadbury's Dairy Milk Pebbles Chocolate and I think it's obvious why I love these. Um, they're called Pebbles. Seriously, I was one of those kids that went on holiday and could never find a bracelet with their name on. So to have chocolates that have the same name as my very unusual middle name, oh, I literally, when I saw these, I think someone tweeted them to me first and then my boyfriend brought them back from work and they're amazing. So not only do they have the best name, but they're actually really, really nice chocolates. I'm gonna open them now because I haven't opened these yet and I want to eat some. They're like flattened mini eggs. They taste a bit like Smarties, but they're bigger. I don't know. Mm. They are so good. So if you haven't tried Pebbles yet, go and get some from your newsagent or petrol station or wherever. They're amazing. Oh, now I have that chocolate taste in my mouth and I want to eat the whole pack. They're very addictive, but yay, chocolates named after me. I'm just going to pretend they're named after me. I know they're not, but let's pretend. My next beauty favourite is an old favourite that just comes back every year and it's the Eccentric Molecule Molecule 01 perfume. If you haven't heard me talk about this before, it's a slightly strange perfume that has one molecule in, so it smells slightly different on everyone and it kind of adjusts your skin. You can't really smell it on yourself, but other people are very drawn to it. It's very weird and I've said in another video that I had someone once chase me down the train platform to ask me what perfume I'm wearing so it obviously works and I love the kind of musky smell and it's perfect for autumn winter so although I didn't wear it much during summer it's come back out again and I've been wearing it every day for the last month and I love it and I definitely recommend going to try it if you haven't. You can buy it on Cult Beauty but if you're in London you can get it at Liberty's if you want to try it first. Um, and I've been using the shower gel actually that goes with it and it really helps kind of bring the scent out. I just love this perfume. So if you read my website you would have seen this scarf already but this is definitely a favourite this month and it's my Zara Tartan scarf. It's huge, it's like a blanket. It's got kind of greeny ready tartan on one side and then black and white on the other and seriously when I say it's huge, it is huge and I love it. It's so cosy. I'm a bit obsessed with tartan at the moment. Um, this was the first tartan thing I bought and I've bought about four things since. Um, look at it, it's huge, it's so warm and soft and cosy. I love Zara scarves, I always buy like one amazing Zara scarf a year. I've been wearing it most days this month and it's just really cosy. I'll link below where you can get it on the Zara website, but I also did a blog post on it so I'll link that below as well. My next beauty favourite is by Sarah Chapman, it's a skincare product and it's her overnight facial. I think I've mentioned this in a video before, I'm not sure, but it's one of my favourite steps in my skincare routine. It is an overnight oil, so I tend to use this on the nights where I can't really be bothered to moisturise. I cleanse my skin and then I just want to go to bed and I can't be bothered for everything else, so I just use this. And it's a 
really luxurious oil. You just need one pump and it's enough to work over your whole face. And as soon as you put it on, you can feel it just like sinks into your skin and plumps up your skin and feels amazing. I can't even describe it. The smell's not that great. It smells quite like organic-y, earthy, but it instantly makes your skin look glowing and feel amazing. And I wake up the next day and my skin is just so good. So I love using that. Um, I've actually been kind of skipping the whole moisturising, eye cream, everything step and just doing that instead a lot at the moment because it's it's even more kind of moisturising and really good for the colder months. Okay, my last favourite is a random one and it's going to be quite hard to explain but bear with me, I'm going to try. It's an app and it's called Heads Up. It's made by Ellen DeGeneres who is just hilarious, I love her. Um, I'm going to try to get it up on my phone here. It's a game, it's really good to play with a group of people um, oh, my phone's making noises now. There are quite a few categories. There's Superstar, Actor Out, Animals Gone Wild, Blockbuster and Movies, Icons, Legends and Stars, Accents and Impressions, and Hey Mr. DJ. It's basically like different versions of charades. So, Hey Mr. DJ, you have to hum any song that comes on. Charades is Actor Out, there's Accents, um, and then there's People, where you have to describe them. You basically select the category and then hold it up to your head and whilst you're doing that, it's filming everyone else who's doing the charades. So I'll try and show you here. You hold it up to your head, and the, the category comes up of what it is. So that's putting on a band-aid. So then everyone has to try and act it out, and if you get it right, you go down, I think. And if you want to pass, you go up. And it kind of sounds quite simple, but it's the most hilarious thing in the world. Um, last time I played this I was with Rich and Anna and her boyfriend and we were in a botanical gardens in Cambridge I think and Anna and Mark had to act out putting on a nappy and I've never laughed so much in my life. It was hilarious. I love the charades one the most um, but having to describe people is also quite funny. It is American so there are a few times where things come up and you don't really know who they are but I like it because like it's not like the typical charades, funny things come up that you wouldn't normally see in a charades game and it's just hilarious so if you have any long train journeys or anything like that it's the perfect distraction and I, it just makes me laugh so much it's such a funny game so enough rambling about games but I hope you enjoyed seeing all my favourites this month I think it's a good little selection and sorry for the bunged up sounding voice throughout this video as you can tell I have a little bit of a cold typical for this time of year but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next week bye so this is a new little video series on my channel and hopefully if you guys like it I'll do one for every season. It's basically a little style guide 